So I can guarantee this will be the best $20 you'll ever spend on your own four-wheel drive because this is DIY remote locking. So if you've got an old four-wheel drive, you're probably used to using your key to unlock the car. Now, this isn't hard, especially on this 80 series, it's actually got central locking, so you just do it's one door and it'll unlock all the doors. But what if there was a way to make it even faster than that? So what this is, is a cheap eBay keyless entry system or, you know, remote locking system. This was $20 and I'll show you what's in the box. So included inside, we have our instructions. Now these are pretty generic instructions, but they do help get you going and they basically show us how to wire up the diagram, but I'll go through that later. We then have the wire loom itself. So this is what we're gonna be using to basically wire up uh, the keyless entry system. But a lot, there's a lot of wires here, kind of look intimidating, but we're actually only using six of these so I'll talk more about that later. This is the actual module that the uh, loom goes into and then that's a little antenna there. And then these are actual keys that we're gonna to use to be able to unlock the car. So you can see it's got lock, unlock, and a boot setting, but we're probably not gonna be using this boot setting. We're just gonna be using lock and unlock. So yeah, two fairly nice keys. They actually feel pretty nice. For 20 bucks, they actually they feel good. So today we're doing this on a GXL 80 series, but it can pretty much be done to any old four wheel drive. Having central locking makes the job like way easier, but even if you don't have central locking, you can get those like little um, actuator motors to put on all four doors, and then you can have remote locking even on an older car like a GQ Patrol. But yeah, obviously this car has central locking, so it means we only need to splice into like six wires. It's super easy. Um, it should hopefully be like a one hour job. So let's get straight into it. And whenever you're playing around with the locking system on your car, it's probably not a bad idea to put the windows down just in case you lock yourself out. And so the function we're gonna be tapping into here is located on the driver's side door. So on an 80 series, you've got this little uh, panel full of you know your window control, um, but it also has your door lock, which basically acts as the central locking for the system. So we're gonna be tapping into the wire that feeds this switch to essentially allow all our doors to be lockable wirelessly. And then again, we'll tap into the other side to um, unlock them all again. So yeah, that makes it super easy and that saves us a bunch of time and we don't have to go ahead and put motors on each door because we've already got them. And so to access all that, we're gonna be ripping off the door card, which is super easy. All you need, screwdriver set. Uh, we'll just grab a Phillips head and a flat head and yeah, get taken off this door card. So now with the door card off, we can see the inside of the door and it looks, um, it looks, all looks super clean in here. But what we can see more importantly is our Toyota door control relay. So uh, this is basically all the electronics that helps the windows go up, um, the, the doors lock, all that. And what we're doing today is essentially tapping into this loom to be able to send a signal to tell the door to lock and open. But it's funny, I've actually been looking a little bit over this and um, I have noticed that someone has in fact been in here and already tried to tap into this loom maybe to do a central locking mod themselves in the past. I think these are the central locking trigger wires. Do we follow the wires and see where they go? Who knows? So there's our loom and there's our wire that's obviously going off our lock and unlock function. So that goes through there, through there, through the door. It's actually good that the module's obviously in here and not in the door, but there's just so much. My God, it's a lot of wires. So on further inspection, um, I found wires going all up to the ignition barrel. So there was a kill switch, which I think was set when you hit the central locking button. It killed, it activated the kill switch, um, stopped the ignition from working, um, and remote locked the doors. So yeah, it's an aftermarket security system. But I'm pretty sure that this security system hasn't been working for a while. The person I bought it off never told me about any security system. Literally just have the keys. So I don't have anything that, you know, remotely turns on or activate something, so. Yeah, I don't know, we'll just have to see. All right, so, update. Um, I've gone ahead and I've just like, tried to remove all the old security stuff. Um, and now I've found a positive wire that I'm gonna go off for this unit here. And I've sort of just twisted all the cables together just so I can test it and make sure that this remote locking sensor is actually gonna work. So I'll plug it in and hopefully, we should hear it clicks. And when I press this button, it should. Haha. -ha. All right, so that works. So now I'm gonna wire it into the switch controls for the door and see if we can get it to lock the entire car. All right, we're in. Does the keys make the doors work? <laughs> Central locking is working. All right, that was extremely easy. Like, like just stupid easy. But now we're gonna make it all neat. 
uh, clean up the wires a bit, and then I'll show you how it all works, uh, what wires go where, and yeah, so let's make it neat and proper. Oh no, I can't get in my car. Now I can. <laughs> all right, that's awesome. All right, let's get it working properly. So you can obviously use crimps to do this, but um, I much prefer to solder everything, especially if it's like something like remote locking that you're not gonna want to fail or like, you know, it'd be intermittent. Soldering just gives the strongest connection that you can be pretty sure that, you know, as much as it might get rattled around or whatever, it's not gonna slip out. Like, don't get me wrong, crimps are good and crimps are really easy, um, but if you don't crimp them like perfectly, or even if you do sometimes crimp perfectly, they can sort of come out. So I just find soldering is like the most solid connection you can have. And then yeah, get some heat shrink and you'll have a solid connection that, yeah won't break or do anything like that, so that's what you want. Just doing some more testing before I wire it in fully. Unlocks. Locks. Seems to be pretty damn good. <laughs> so if you've got an 80 series, I'll quickly show you where you tap in to make this whole system work. If you don't have an 80 series, it's actually still fairly easy. If you just Google, like, this and patrol central locking or whatever, um, you can find all these wires yourself for your own car, no matter what car it is. Um, I'm sure these systems all work very similar. Um, but if you've got an 80 series, this is what you do. So here's your control, um, and you'll see there's a bunch of wires coming out of it. And what you've got to do is you've got to tap into, there's a blue and yellow wire, so blue wire, yellow stripe, and a blue wire, black stripe, small wire. So you tap into those two, and then there your open and close control. For example, this already had a wire coming out of it, so I should use that. If you don't want to tap it up here, you can tap in down here as well. Um, and I'll list the colors you tap into down here. I'm mounting my control box under the dash here because a lot of people say if they get moisture in them, they kind of stop working and become really intermittent. Um, so it's best to sort of get it inside where it's gonna stay dry. I'm not sure how good these are actually staying dry inside here. So yeah, if you can run the cables through your little grommet into the car, um, I reckon it'll last a lot longer if you do that. And simply put the door card back on the car and I'll show you how to wire up your new wireless keyless module. And if you bought the same keyless entry system I did off eBay, these are the wires you're going to want to wire to each colour. So yeah, corresponding colour to each colour, um, do this and it should all work, no worries. And essentially that is your blue with black stripe to the white, and blue with yellow stripe to the black and white. Um, that's what mine was. If your module's slightly different, all you need to do is play around with those two switching wires and then just test them until you got them on the right unlock unlocks and lock locks but yeah that's just for a 80 series gxl land cruiser in australia might be different for any other 80 series or obviously different cars all right so you might be wondering why the dash is apart um i'm pulling apart the dash because i want to hook up the hazard lights to the lock system so when i hit lock or unlock it flashes the hazard lights once. There's two wires that you can use on that keyless module that allow you to send out a five amp charge to a signal light. So I'm trying to pull the dash apart to get to the hazard light so I can wire it off it and make the lights flash, flash when I lock or unlock it. But it's proving to be quite difficult. <sighs> I don't know, it's very frail. Being a 30 year old car, all these plastics just, I hate messing with them. I hate, hate, hate messing with them because I feel like they're always gonna break every time I touch them. Come on. Aha! Yes! All right. Hazard switch, here we come. So, basically, I managed to get the dash off. Uh, here's my um, hazard light. And I've just been tech checking the connections and I found these two wires here on the left. They're the two bottom left wires on the plug if anyone's interested. Um, basically, they're your left hand turn and right hand turn. And I'm basically gonna, gonna um, tap off on them. So I'm gonna run my two brown wires from this module box up to the back of the dash, solder them onto these two wires here. And then that means when I hit the button, the left hand, right hand indicator lights will flash and I'll be able to tell easily when the car's locked and unlocked. And, oh. all right, let's go, we're in business now. Okay, I'm excited. Watch this. You see that? It does all of them. Oh, I'm happy. I'm a happy man. All right, let's get this all wired up and I'll show you what I've done. All right, so I've still got to cover up those solder joints and stuff, but essentially I've got it working. And after you put a bit of tape around it, it's like a factory finish. So now, yeah, got the cable coming down the back of the dash there. Next job is to tidy up the actual module itself and hide it away. All right, so I finally run the wire down through the dash 
into the module and I've taped up the module and made a nice little loom for it and tucked it up behind the kick panel here so it's not going to be in the way of my feet or anything and man it's looking good now it's, it's nearly back to normal it looks pretty bad it, it's mounted just there you can see the loom I know it looks messy a lot of it is still from the aftermarket security system I tried to disable or well, it already was disabled I tried to remove as much as I could but so much of the wiring went up through the ignition barrel and must have also acted as a kill switch so I didn't want to remove some of the kill switch stuff because I wasn't sure if it was going to like then kill my ignition and honestly it's just uh, I do need to tackle it but today I just wasn't ready to do that much dash yoga so I think I'll come back to that and I'm thinking of making my own kill switch so uh, that could be an upcoming thing. I love it how I've made a patch on the ground where I was bloody bending underneath the dash. Look, it's a pa it is a pain sometimes, like having to get under there. It's not a lot of room and it is hard, but I think the best, like you don't have to do all the hazard stuff I do. If you don't do any of the hazard stuff, this is super easy. Literally door card off, cut some wires, splice some power and away you go. Like it's super easy. So now, is the moment of truth so here we go on my keys my new remote locking module so i can lock the car by pressing the lock button you see it flashes it does flash kind of quick but the unlock i'll show you from the rear so you can see the tail lights as well unlock is two flashes so yeah i mean it works so boom locked can't get in unlock button and we're straight in and that's all the doors now as well it's not just the drivers it affects every single door on the car if you are paranoid that you know this ebay system might fail we can still unlock the car with our keys watch this car unlocks normally with your keys so it, you don't don't get stressed if you think oh is the you know is it gonna not work you can always still get in with your keys so yeah uh, it's bloody awesome uh, <laughs> Such a good mod. So if you want to help support the channel, you can always buy an Aussie Arvo sticker. They're five bucks, they're free shipping Australia wide. And as you can see, coming closer by the quality, um, Aussie Arvo has never let you down. That is a quality sticker right there. It's been on that car for nearly two, oh, one and a half years. Oh, how long I had the 84? Yeah, one and a bit years. But yeah, um, five bucks free shipping Australia wide. And if you guys want merch, we might consider doing another run. Um, we had, you know, great success. You guys loved the merch last time. It's obviously like a heap of work for us because we do it all ourselves from home. But if you guys are interested, let us know in the comments because we can try and get together another run. So, so remote locking is an awesome mod for your old four-wheel drive. So if you are looking to get it, I'll leave a link to the exact eBay version I bought. There's so many out there so you can buy any version, but I'll leave a link to the exact one I bought. It was around 20 bucks and it was probably one of the cheaper ones, but it seems to be absolutely brilliant and works all the time for me. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'll be down there. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching the video. It means a lot and um, we'll see you in the next one.